To borrow a Scouse saying, I'm absolutely made up to be in Liverpool. No pun intended, but there's something fitting about kicking off in a place that has been voted one of the best cities to visit in the UK. The city is steeped in the history and is known world over for its music, unique culture, impressive art, and of course, the iconic waterfront. There's an energy about this place that draws me in, but there's one thing that really makes it stand out. It's passion, drive, and the resilience of its people. And as a big fan of the beautiful game, of course it helps that this is the most successful footballing city in England. And where more appropriate, than to be on the way to the women's training campus to meet some of the star players of the Women's Liverpool Football Club, particularly as AXA is a proud sponsor and official partner. Be like all you can be, how do you do that individually but also as part of a team? You need to be the best person you can be yourself, so you should push yourself and make sure that you give everything 110%, always be focused and then that'll allow you to then go into the team environment and drive the team as well as yourself. One of the things is health and keeping fit and nutrition. Do you have a very strict nutritional diet or you just eat whatever you want? The game has progressed so much over the years and, and nutrition is a massive part of football now. And We, we eat together at Tranmere, we'll have pre-match together, so we kind of looked after in that way and our s &C coach does all the work behind the scenes to make sure that we're eating right and we're looking after our bodies properly. I used to play for a boys team. It was quite funny because we'd turn up to matches and obviously there was two girls on the team. I think the parents always had more issues with it of, of the opposing sides and probably didn't want their, their lads to get beat by girls but we were probably the two best players on the team so yeah. afterwards making them eat humble pie was always, uh, it was always nice. What advice would you give to young women and young girls um, who really want to become footballers in Asia? If you enjoy it, then do it. Um, just work hard and, and it will come. There's lots of opportunities out there now, so just grab them with both hands and, and just believe in yourself that you can do it. I didn't think that professional football would ever be a thing for women, but it was, and as soon as I got that, that one chance, I just got to take it with both hands. This partnership really exemplifies our shared ambitions, values, and our goals of promoting healthy well-being and lifestyle. This is in line with AXA's global tagline, Know You Can, which symbolises our promise of being an encouraging partner to our customers to help them feel more confident in achieving their goals. It only seems apt that, that in a city of so many firsts, aside from success in football and having the largest collection of Grade 2 listed buildings in England, it also holds the Guinness World Record as the capital of pop music. So I thought it would be fitting to end where it all began, here at the Cavern Club, where the Beatles played their very first gig. Just like the team players, what better testimony to demonstrate how success begins with self-belief.